This is the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigval Green here and welcome to another video. So for your viewing pleasure I have bought Vixen and tried her out in Arena. That was streamed, but for the people who didn't get to catch the stream I'll uh, show you the gameplay and we'll uh, talk a little bit about Vixen after the gameplay is done and I'll give uh, my, my first impressions on it. And this is the build that we're going with. It's not really a build, it's whatever I could get my hands on in like 5 minutes. But yeah, this is, it's kind of garbage. It's got maxed out defense, some health and some, nah, this is it's to the point where it's not even worth showing. But I wanted to show you that it's not even worth showing, if that makes sense. Because this is a very unbuilt Vixen and uh, it dealt a decent chunk of damage. I at times tried her first with Beta Club because I thought the Beta Club would have in Arena good synergy with her. Because she's got that passive where uh, she's going to... Um, uh, give you more damage per negative effect stacked upon teammates and beta club gives you by default once inflicting the dot two negative effects on the enemy so i believe that would buff it but then we'll switch into using the sword of salvation which in arena is going to be a better fit for her so we'll get into a gameplay and then we'll go back and talk a little bit about her okay so uh i messed up i messed up again the audio so we'll not have any audio for the fights i'm very sorry guys my mistake so yeah, we're going to use Bane here because she's missing some crit chance and some damage on basic attacks, I guess, in Power Girl to give her a little bit more power generation. Something that they failed to mention in the trailer, actually two things we can note, sorry, that they failed to mention in the trailer. The fact that, uh, first of all, she's going to apply the defense reduction on swipe attacks as well, which is awesome and it was my main complaint about the gameplay trailer. And uh, either they forgot to mention that in the gameplay trailer or they added it before releasing the character and if they did so thank you so much for watching my videos lads so yeah again it, it applies on sp on swipes which makes it a very viable passive and a very viable way to reduce the uh, defense of the enemy because this way it's going to be able to be chained uh, into a tag and combo and that's great. Also over there when uh, you saw me uh, do a jump attack and then get hit I was trying to see if her AI uh, is able to chain a combo from a jump attack which she is not and because of that I'm very very happy her defense reduction also applies on swipes. Again I'm not very familiar with the AI because Let's let's be honest here, lads. Who is playing Cheetah? Well, definitely not me. Yeah, it's got the Cheetah AI, and uh, again, the only two downsides of the Cheetah AI are going to be the fact that she can't chain a combo from a jump attack. But since, as we can see, her passive is going to be applied on swipe attacks, that's not gonna matter too much. It's not applied on swipe down attacks, which is weird because usually things that synergize with swipe right attacks and jump attacks also synergize with swipe down attacks. It's like a trio of attacks, like with the Beta Club and other stuff like that. So that's a little bit weird, but again, that's not not a huge deal. And yeah, the the other back uh, the the other drawback of the Cheetah AI is going to be the swipe back animation. That's the most horrible thing I've seen in my life. That swipe back animation is going to crawl into a ball. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure you have seen it yet, but she's going to crawl into a ball and awkwardly go away. And as funny as that may look, it's actually a pr a thing that hurts you a lot because in a lot of fights, in especially if you're going to try and use her as a combo builder, which she might be able to be used because of the defense reduction applying on swipes, it's gonna suck. That thing is gonna suck. The swipe back is gonna suck a lot. Also, uh, another weird thing that I was trying to test out here a little bit myself. I think this is the only ranged attack animation in the game. Again, I was not aware of this because I was not previously playing Cheetah. Because who is playing Cheetah? But it's going to be the only ranged attack in the game that's not actually a ranged attack. And I know also catwoman has got the whip, but at the very least that's going to be used at uh, a certain range. But it's got a ranged attack that's actually not a ranged attack and it's going to be her pouncing on the enemy. And that might be totally useless unless somebody finds a combo chain from that or an infinite combo. I have not been able to find any of those myself. Getting in there. And going for a special... Uh, actually no specials yet. I was just trying some stuff out. Again, this is not meant to be optimal gameplay. Oh, we didn't do specials because there's a Superman in there, my bad. So I'm a little bit tired at this point. But still, most likely we'll still release one more video after this. Okay, so we finally got rid of this dude. Thankfully, he used the special early so he couldn't use shield afterwards. A special uh, 2 in there. The animation for a special 2 is very weird. 
actually that was a special one, my bad. Another thing that they failed to mention is the fact, and I still, I also don't think it was shown in the trailer or it was visible, but the special to apply some dot on the enemy, and while that is not something that's amazing, at the same time, it's just another thing that's going to be in there and have a good synergy with her passive because at the end of the day, it's a debuff applied to the enemy. Again, getting to another fight here, going to use uh, also Sword of Salvation. Yeah, Sword of Salvation is just a versatile, character to, uh, uh, a versatile artifact to put on any character you want to just have a little bit of fun with and test out. And honestly, in Arena, considering how shit the build is that I have on her right now, she's performing decently, but again, that doesn't say much. Arena is not relevant mode. This video is just about getting the feel of the character and how she plays. And to be honest, if that swipe back attack doesn't drag her back too much, she might be able to be a combo builder. She might be. But just, that just remains to be seen in Soul Raids, and we'll definitely uh, test that out in the future. Okay, and now for one more fight, I think this is the last one. We're trying to take on a legendary team. Keep in mind, we're playing with a garbage build character, but we have a Dr. Fate with a Flower Box, so that's gonna be an infinite combo, so at the end of the day, it's upsides and downsides. I think a big part of her very impressive performance in Arena is due to the fact that she reduces the defense of the enemy. Over there, you saw me trying to see if any of her abilities chain into a combo after you finish them, but I have no success with Special 1 or the Special 3. Uh, with a special tree or a special two, excuse me, not sure I tried with a special one. The animation for a special tree is quite cool, actually. I'm quite happy with that. Would be nice if you, you could change that into combo. Combo interrupting that dude here. Not a special tree. There we go. Blocking that, re engage that combo. Not a special tree. Backing off, re engaging. There we go, Black Manta back in there. And yeah, that's that's it for the gameplay with uh, Vixen here. I was gonna say Cheetah, but let's go back to the character screen after those fights and uh, talk a little bit about her. Again, I'm going to only give my thoughts on her AI, how she plays, how she feels. Not gonna give uh, my opinion necessarily on if she fits into a league rate team, into a salary team, if she's gonna be in the top six teams, because you need to test that in order to be able to tell. But in terms of gameplay, yet again, it feels good except for the swipe back attack. And again, there's a lot of characters that can't chain account from a jump attack, so since that's not her only way to trigger the defense reduction, that's fine. Really love the defense reduction triggering uh, from the special one. These special animations look smooth, they are not too fast to the point where you tag in, do a full combo into a special and then you can't tag out because they are too fast and they are not too long to the point where they waste time. So I feel like they also did a good job on that. In terms of her being a combo builder, she only has to have fast tech hits, so that's not gonna be that great. But again, the passive might make up for it. So yeah, there's not really a reason, as far as I'm aware right now, for you to buy Vixen. Because as far as I'm aware, after the early access phase finishes, early access meaning uh, you can only buy her with money, she's going to be available in the challenges for everybody to farm, and hopefully with gears dropping. And yeah, there's some differences from the trailer, as I said. Uh, this thing in, tra in the trailer only applied on jump attacks, right? The very they said only applied on jump attacks. I'm glad it applies on the rush attack, so that's amazing. And this also has dots, which I, I guess, I guess that's good. But yeah, well, having said, I'm quite enjoying myself playing Cheetah. Oh come on, daily free rewards again? Are you are you serious? But yeah. I had, I had quite some fun with her, she seems like an okay character, I mean she's free so not much reason to complain there, and we will see what synergies she has with some of the top teams, because she might be crazy with uh, like Black Manta with Beta Club, but yeah that remains to be seen, well that being said thanks so much for watching, I'll see you all in the next one, goodbye! This is the future.